Hello everybody, this is Chris and this is my channel, Barnon11970. And today we're going to talk about something that I feel is very important and needs to be discussed more often. And that is our freedom of speech is slowly being taken away from us. And if we don't do anything about it, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Now, the beautiful thing about this is, especially in this country we still have the power of the people now if you distract those people if you depress them if you keep them in poverty if you try your best to keep them from being educated in the real important issues you can divide the people have them fight amongst themselves and instead of focusing on what's important, which is our freedoms, our liberties, and our right to live as human beings, they have us fighting amongst ourselves like you see, like never before in recent history. And my wife came across this image that I think totally states everything, especially here on YouTube. Now, it's not exclusive to YouTube, and I see this all the time on Facebook. I hear it all the time on all the other social medias where if you have a different point of view instead of it being discussed or debated or instead of it being appreciated it's being hidden and blocked and prevented from being out there under the guise of hate speech or bullying or whatever term they like to use and I think it's quite disappointing. But if you look at this image, it shows on the top, book burnings don't just look like this, where they're showing a bunch of people what seems to be in Nazi paraphernalia uniforms burning books. And you see on the bottom it says it, they also look like this. And it shows the video has been removed because it violates their terms of service. Now... If you've been following my channel for a while, and if you haven't, please check out some videos because you'll see my channel is not about hate. It's not about attack. It's not about me thinking I'm 100% right. It's all about questioning the narrative. It's all about a, one person's different perspective. Now, that doesn't guarantee I'm right about everything, but the beautiful thing about someone's opinion if it's something you believe in then it's it's true in your eyes and there was somebody I forget who it was said a while ago talking about there is no such thing as your truth well that is not true because everybody has their own version of what they feel is the truth now there are plenty of people who deny that or they try and alter it for their own personal gains or because they're afraid to stand out in the crowd but we all have our own truths, and that's okay. That's supposed to be something cherished because I seriously doubt whether if you're extreme left, extreme right, somewhere in the middle, whatever. I don't think any of you would want to wake up tomorrow to a world where you have to look the same as everybody else, act the same as everybody else, believe in all the things that everybody else does, even if it contradicts your own belief system, and basically conform into basically a pile of sheep I don't think anybody wants that and yet as you look at what's been happening in the past few years that's a direction that we're headed and that can anger people that could scare people it could frustrate them but the beautiful thing about all of this is sometimes in life, and I've said this in many videos, it's all about appreciating what negativity can bring you if you see it for what it is, is sometimes in life you have to learn what you don't want. So if you see in the world what's being presented right now, humans fighting other humans, people like others that have different beliefs are trying to silence other people through violence using the guise of diversity and unity which is kind of silly that if you are preaching diversity and unity which is, are two great things how can you exclude anybody 
because then you're contradicting your own belief system. But you have that right because not everybody believes in the right thing. You know, there are some people that believe in abortion. There are some people that believe in capital punishment where you execute another person. There are plenty of different ways you can go. Some people believe in different factions of religion. And that's okay. And we should cherish and appreciate our ability to think differently. But as you could see with places like YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and all these other social medias, they're trying to silence people. Now, I can understand if somebody's making a video where you're verbally abusing people. And here's the ironic part. Years ago, I had troll channels that would dedicate their channels in attacking me personally, saying nasty things like things they wanted to do to my wife in very sexually explicit details. I've gotten death threats. People put out my personal information online. And yet those channels still stand. And, you know, they have their right to be abusive. They have their right to be negative people. I may not like it and agree with it, but if we want true freedom, we have to accept everybody's choice. But I can understand if somebody's becoming very abusive. Like, you don't want videos where you see people murdering animals for pleasure and torturing people. I mean, there are certain limits. But when it comes down to being offended the problem with that is is eventually everybody is going to be offended by something and where do you draw the line as to what can and cannot be said because like I said there are certain things you you probably shouldn't say you shouldn't be at an airport screaming terroristic threats you should not be going around and threatening to murder people it's, but also keep in mind, even if somebody does something like that, they do have the right to say it. But remember, there are always consequences for your actions and also inactions. And like I was saying earlier, sometimes in life we get shown not always what we want, but what we don't want. So, as I was saying, the beautiful thing about this is we can change this at any moment. All we need to realize, because I've always said in my videos, you need real eyes to realize. That's why they say, I once was blind, but now I see. They're not talking physically. They're talking about the fact that you can look around the world and see your own world's point of view, and then all of a sudden you awaken to see what's really going on. It's a spiritual awakening. awakening. But we can change this at any moment. And one of the biggest things about people in control is they have the same type of fears as we do. But theirs are a little bit different because theirs, when you do things wrong, you base your world on fear and paranoia especially if you have a lot of power, because what's the one thing you're afraid of? That's losing that power. And when I see all of this anger and all this division and all this hatred basically being promoted by news propaganda and certain people in the government and your quote-unquote education system, what that's saying to me is they are so afraid that people are waking up that they are seeing what's truly out there that they want to do everything in their power to make people fight and be distracted. The, the old divide and conquer, which has worked for centuries. But we are becoming smarter. We are becoming more awake. And this trend can continue if we decide to do nothing about it. If we decide to give up. And maybe I had to learn that too. Because yes, my channel now, I can't make live videos for another 90 days. But for about a month, I didn't make any videos because I was almost at the fact of, you know, I have 41,000 subscribers. My YouTube subscribers tell me all the time that even when they hit the notification button, they never get notifications. My videos get constantly flagged and blocked and unadvertiser friendly. And I got very frustrated. And I said, what's the sense? 41,000 subscribers and an average of 600 people get to view my videos. But then... 
I have to sometimes sit back and say, okay, I can either give up, which will help nobody, or I can do the very best that I can and see where that leads because I don't need five million people to see my point of view. If one person sees what I say and listens to what I say and they are inspired to all of a sudden do something else and they have a better influence than I ever could, well, if I chose to give up, that would have never happened. And I think that's the frustrating part because in this world of apps and drive throughs and instant everything, we've lost our ability to be patient. We've lost our ability to see down the road of what the fruits of our labors will bring. And it does take time. I mean, think of life like planting an apple seed tree. You don't plant that apple seed tree and expect to wake up the next day with a, flu, a full blown tree filled with apples. It takes years. But if you are patient enough, you will reap the benefits. And the problem is, we're taught now everything has to be instant. And they use our emotions against us. But that's only if we allow it. And if you want to be a doormat, it's easy to just lay down and let people walk all over you. But always remember, that's a choice. And for every negative choice, there is an equal and opposite reaction where you have the same amount of a positive choice. And as a matter of fact, you have a higher percentage of positive choices than negative because if you factor in a neutral choice, well, a neutral choice is not negative. It's slightly positive. Because, like, for example, if you have three people and they want to murder a fourth and they have to agree with it, one person says they absolutely think it's justified to kill the person. That's evil. The other person says it's absolutely wrong to kill that person. Well, that's good. Well, if the neutral person stays out of it, well, they're not voting to kill the person. So that's not as evil, even though they are not on the side of good. Because you have a stalemate, which means that fourth person survives. So even if you're neutral, it's still slightly more positive. So I always use analogies because it helps people, what I like to call, understand better. Because this world tries to scare people into thinking of destiny, of one road that you can travel that it's inevitable because maybe it was written down in a book by who knows who centuries ago or whenever you think it's prophecy and destiny and it's inevitable well it's only those things if you agree to accept that as the only alternative in a universe of endless possibilities how can there only be one destination unless you choose it to be that way. That's like being in a car, driving down a road. Even if it is only one way, even if there are no roads to turn off, you can always turn around. You can always stop. You have choices. And the more the system tries to hide us, to block us, to make us afraid, the more people like myself and others see the light at the end of the tunnel, that we're winning and they're being exposed and they don't like it that is why if you have a house full of cockroaches when you turn on the lights they all scatter so we need to be persistent we need to have our voices heard even if it's heard by one person excuse me because we can make change unless we choose not to so if you use the analogy of prophecy or destiny or any of the ways that they say, oh, this is etched in stone, that's like saying you're in a car, you're driving down a one-way road, one road, and at the end of the road is a cliff that you're going to fall off. Now, if you're in that car driving and you know that cliff is coming, and they say, well, if you continue down this path, that's your destiny. You will fall off that cliff and you will die. Well, if you choose to keep driving, 
If you choose to pretend it doesn't exist, if you choose to ignore it, anything, and you continue down that path, which is your choice, that is exactly what will happen. So if a prophecy says you're driving down a road and you will drive off a cliff, well, if you continue to drive down that road, regardless of you believe it or if you're happy about it or if you're challenging it, with whatever, the destiny will come true only because you did nothing to alter it. So there is nothing etched in stone, and even if something is etched in stone, it only stays there until something comes along and eradicates it. Because if you carved your name in stone, it will last at least your lifetime. It may last several lifetimes. Heck, it may last several millennia. But it only takes one pickaxe to ruin it and take it away. But if left untouched, there it shall remain. So this is what the people in control are trying to instill in people, whether you're left or right, whether you are Buddhist or Christian or Catholic or atheist or Satanist, whether you are Republican, Democrat, Independent, Socialist, Marxist, Democratic, Republic, Anarchist, whatever. We all have to understand that we are human beings. We all share this planet. And if we don't find a way to live together in the best way possible, then we are dooming ourselves to a destiny that's not going to be beneficial for the masses. And that is why you see all the people that are quote-unquote in control are all extremely wealthy. They are out of touch with the masses. And the masses choose to be poor. And I say that because, unfortunately, it is a choice. Now, it's not easy for everybody. There are exceptions to every rule. But if you're telling me, if you're struggling, that you've done everything in your power to fix that, and you've exhausted yourself to the point of near death, if you can honestly say that, then yes, you're the exception to the rule. But just like myself, we have to be honest. So the reason I'm not a millionaire is because I have not made my life so determined to absolutely make it happen that I'm willing to do any and all things to make it happen. So that rests on me. The problem is we're told that it's never our faults. It's always somebody else's. It's always somebody else's reason or some other situation. And we never heal ourselves because we're spending our frustrations and our anger focusing on others instead of learning what can we do to change our lives to make them better. So freedom will die if we allow it. But we have the power. We have the ability to change it. But we cannot do it divided. There's a reason why there is a very important slogan that says, United we stand and divided we fall. It does not have to be just subject to one country or one continent. We are all earthlings or Gaians or whatever you want to call it. It's regardless of the name. I am. That should be the most important. You are. And if you're hearing this, and you've listened this far, then something has impacted you, even if this is the first video of mine you've ever seen. Because the universe works in mysterious ways. We are all made of energy. We are all light beings. Light travels at approximately 186,000 miles per second, which means it instantly attracts you. And since we, the universe is held together through magnetism, you are always attracted to things, even if you didn't know they were there. It is no coincidence that when you're thinking about a certain topic or feeling in your heart a certain way, that things get drawn to you like moths to a flame. It's what you do with it that destiny, quote-unquote, is all about. Because if you ignore helpful advice, even if it's negative, you don't learn from it. You know, if you've ever touched a stove and burned your hand... Yes, you're going to experience pain. Yes, you're not going to like it. But you have learned through that experience never to do it again. And if you listen to that, then that negative thing that hurt you at that moment, which has now been placed in your past, 
has taught you something good. So places like YouTube and Twitter and your social networks and your governments throughout the world, your media, your quote-unquote education, all of these things, they're going to give you information that may not always be accurate. If you choose to accept it, just because you're loyal to a certain cause or a certain belief, the only person you hurt is yourself. And in the end, the people that are in charge control all of us because we allow them to. Because remember, even in this country, the United States of America Corporation, and if you don't know what I mean by that, check out my video, The Truth About the United States Law and You. We make the decisions. It is the Constitution. It's a con, but it is based on the fact of the consent of the governed. We are the governed, which means the government does not rule over us unless we allow them to have that authority because we can change it if we so choose. But if you get the people fighting whether they're feminist, whether they are left and right wing, whether they are talking about transgenders, anything. If they get us fighting amongst ourselves, then through our silence, we are still giving consent for them to rule over us all. So as much as they want to have this whole quote-unquote leftist extreme agenda, make no mistake, if you believe in the leftist agenda and you have that right, you're still paying taxes. You still will be locked up for the same crimes anyone else could be made. You're still suffering. You're still under control. You're still giving, you know, getting false information. You're still eating food that's polluted by chemicals that are meant to make you sick. You're not getting a free ride, but they will gladly use you for their own personal agenda and profits. It's time we let go of the anger. And you could choose to be angry. There are plenty of people that hate me for what I do. And that's fine. But what good is that to improve their life or their family's lives or their future? If you spend your whole life in hate, you'll always have something to hate. Because like I said, the universe is made of electricity and magnetism. So if your energy is putting out into the universe nothing but hatred, your the universe that you created will provide you with all the things you need to hate. And like a light switch, you could switch it off and on at any given moment. And that's why people like myself, if you see my videos, especially in the last couple of years, they're very positive. But even I got depressed. Even I got to the point I wanted to give up. Sometimes you need to be reminded of your fight and your cause. Because it doesn't happen overnight, even though you want it to. So here I am making another video when a month ago I didn't care. Not that I didn't care, it's just I gave up. It wasn't worth it to me in my mind. But I had to have that happen to re-inspire me. Now, I may not make a video for another couple of weeks. Who knows? But if this particular video wakes up someone else or makes them reawaken or makes them see things in a different perspective, then it happened for a reason. And if I had to go through that emotional roller coaster, the going through all these negative things in my life to get to the point where I had the ability to learn from those things and make this video, which inspired someone else, then how could I ever say all the things I went through were bad? Because like they say, this too shall pass. Unless you don't want it to. So you have the power to do whatever you want. But always understand there are consequences for your choices. And it's not always what you do. Sometimes it's what you don't do. So it's a shame that places like YouTube and social networks and everything are doing things like trying to hide information perspective, other people's opinion, maybe even the truth, who knows? I can't say. But as you could see, if you're listening to this, they're not able to silence everybody. 
It's like holding sand in your hand. The tighter you grasp, the more slips through your fingers. And that is what's happening, and that's what they're afraid of. And they want people to give up. They want to frustrate people. They want the bigger people on YouTube, for example, to leave because then YouTube can turn it into a new cable network where you pay to watch programming. And that's why they will put CNN and Conan and the Young Turks and cat videos and makeup videos and things like that as the videos you'll see trending, music videos, because you'll never learn anything from them. But you'll be distracted from them. You'll be entertained. If you want to party like it's 1999, that's perfectly fine. But if you spend your whole life partying, what are you doing to get yourself to grow? If you are having the most amazing dreams in the world, and if you want to stay asleep and have those dreams, well, don't be surprised that when you eventually wake up, you don't even have the strength to stand. There are always consequences, even if you refuse to see them. If you're sitting there as one of my haters... Well, first of all, you're probably not listening. But let's just say for humor's sake that you're listening to this at the moment. And you're sitting there saying, oh, this person's an idiot. Oh, I hate this person. I'm not going to listen to anything he says. Well, that's your choice. But then you haven't learned anything. As it, and is it any wonder that since 2011, when I started my first channel, till now, you're still the same person. You're still angry. Because you've refused to change that narrative. And that's fine. If you don't want to learn it, it's like school. If you don't learn the lesson, you'll always get left back. And in, in a universe where you never die, you just transition, you will repeat the same thing over and over again until you finally let go of the ego and learn to progress in your life. But that could be eternity if you choose it to be. That's truly my definition of hell is repeating the same life over and over again, never learning the next lesson, reaching that next step. Because it does take true strength. Nowadays, people acquire their strength through masses. In other words, they're only brave because other people are there to help them. They bully people because other people are backing them up. That's not true strength. A true strength is a person that could stand their own ground, have their own opinion even if it differs from everybody else, and not be influenced by the masses telling them that they're wrong just because they're different, physically or mentally. So if you are one of those strong people, you're going to get bullied. You're going to be attacked. You're going to be criticized. Heck, you may even be ignored and abandoned. Hold on. Unless you want to conform to be like these people in this image. A whole bunch of people that are burning books. And I guarantee you, plenty of people watching those books burn really don't want them burned. But they don't want to stand out because that's what a weak-minded person does. They don't stand out. They just conform, even if it's something they don't believe in. And we're going through that now. But it doesn't mean we have to stay that way unless you choose to remain silent and that's why I'm making this video what you take from it is up to you if you're just needed something to listen to while you're exercising or eating dinner or you're watching this because you don't want to watch cable TV or you're just gonna ignore everything about this and say ah that was nice and then you just go on with your life won't be, well then don't be surprised nothing changes but if you can take something from this and say, you know what, today's the day I'm going to have my voice heard. And maybe two people join in, and then maybe four people join in, and it grows and grows. Then something good can come out of this. And we all have to understand that we have the power to change the world, if we so choose. Don't let the people that are supposedly in control dictate how you live your life unless you're just one of those people that never wants to do anything for yourself, then don't be surprised that you're not getting anything that you want. You put your hands, if you're living under mommy and daddy's roof, yeah, they're going to not charge you rent most likely. Yeah, they're probably going to feed you and clothe you and do all these things the parents do. But you can't have the run of the house because it's their house. You have to have permission. 
You could get punished. You can have things taken away. You're not going to have the same freedoms as if you took the time to get your own home. So there's always a price to pay being under mommy and daddy's roof. And if you take mommy and daddy and turn that into governments, well, you're going to get some benefits for being under the control of a government, but you're going to get punished anytime you go against what government mommy and daddy say is forbidden. And they keep adding more and more rules. One day a rule is going to come along that you don't like. And it'll be too late because all the people you could have helped and you chose not to help will return the favor and not help you in your time of need. And that's the wrong time to get an epiphany. So I want to thank everybody for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. If you listen to this whole thing, I want you to give it a thumbs up and I want you to write in the comment section, I love rock and roll. So I'll know who watched the whole thing. And many won't. And that's perfectly fine, because like I said, everything's a choice. I may not have all the answers. I may not be the best speaker. This might not have been the most entertaining. But what this is is a person with their ability to speak their own mind, being unafraid to speak their perspective, or no regard to what other people will do with it. And that is selflessness. So I hope you'll join in. I hope you'll make your own video. If you want to share mine and it's easier and it gets the point across, please do. If you want to make your own video, this is not about me. Because the more people that do this, the more people that awaken others, the faster we get this done. So if you want to plant that apple seed and you want it to grow into an apple tree, well, you got to water it. you got to make sure it has nutrients. You have to make sure the weeds are picked around the plant. You have to make sure the bugs stay away and they don't eat it alive. You have to use maintenance. In other words, it requires effort. Because just because you planted the seed does not guarantee an apple tree shall grow. Or at least one that gives you the fruits of your labor. How ironic. Put in the effort. Put in the time. And remember, everything, including how you're feeling, always boils down to choice. Yes, life can be cruel. Yes, things can get hard. Believe me, I know. I, for the first time in 20 years, have no DJ jobs. I have no employment coming in. But I'll always manage to find some way. Now, I'm not going to rob anybody. I'm not going to do criminal activities. Although that is a choice if one chose. I'm going to choose to do the right thing, and I will always be providing for myself. And I will always have the ability to take care of the things that I enjoy. Because there's always a way. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I whole hope you have a wonderful day and start changing the world before what you see before you becomes reality. Peace out, everybody.